Oi, oi. Breakfast. <laughs> Breakfast baguettes. Be on that later. Sand down. We are at the carp show. Been st been stamped. Most important place, the food hall. Cool. They look very well made, don't they? They look pretty smart, these trackers. Yeah, awesome. New ones, yeah. Double click it. Oh, yeah, nice one. So, what's that? Oh, that's just the receiver price, is it? 100 quid. Set 350. 350 for the whole set and the receiver. Okay, nice one. Look at all the tracker lights. Yeah, this is the uh, gazebo by Tracker, just like my new um, my new solar one, except it's got this shelter that goes across the front. So that's a uh, it's pretty good. You can tell it's better made than my one but it's enormous look how big it is so the tracker level light oval is here and upgraded yeah they look really smart nice camo on those so you see more I might check out the bait see if there's any deals going down Just said to Dan we can get a, a shitter side by side <laughs> having a dump each. <laughs> Dan they do five key of uh, CC more over there for 35 quid. So pretty good deal. Ridge monkey store, kettles and all the cooking stuff you need. The Ridge Monkey Hunter. Look how small it is. It's, well, it's got mixed reviews, but the last bloke, bloke I spoke to, Dan Elphick, said this Ridge Monkey was the business. So it looks really smart as well, and I like that it's small and compact. Yeah, it looks well, well made. It really does look well made. Well, that's really smart. Yeah. Very lightweight. Mm -hmm. It's quite small compared to a lot of other boats. It's just yeah. compact. Yeah. It's very compact. Uh, the tray you can put up to one kilo of bait, but it's one kilo of bait. Eight hundred grams of bait here. Uh, yeah, you can do it. G car now they can. The Cine Carp TV, Tom Maker. Looks the business. These are the carp porter barrows. Big selection of bed chairs. Carpy heaven. What's that one? Frontier XD. It's wow. So well made. You've got some of the space in. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> the Titan T2 Camo Pro. 800 quid down to 680. Blimey, now it's enormous. Some deals on the NGT stuff, the new catheter pump thing. the bags and GT nice and cheap this is the chorus store massive selection of cool candy all these gooey things nut cluster green lip muscle krill and a selection of boilies 
and I've just got my bushwhacker but chorus do this baiting pole as well show price 120 quid but look at the size of it bloody hell it's enormous Parker Bates Parker Bates seems to get very popular lately um, yeah I might have to check them out as the season warms up look at the length of this bait boat compared to the Ridge Monkey one it's probably amazing but Angling Techniques Micro Cat HDL mate it's probably worth more than my car there's one more car stall popular as always Mr. Ali is in the house. Two of these for a fiver, that is a good deal. I'm going to get some salty tuna, I think. Summit tackle. Gardener. Don't know where to look, there's so much good stuff and good stalls. And I don't really need anything tackle-wise, but um, when there's bargains going down, <laughs> it's hard not to uh, treat yourself. And it's Christmas, so why not? I'm just checking out the mug of hooks and the, the rigger. So they do them in different styles, so they do a heavy one, which has got more time. Uh, These are the rigger. It's so severe, see where the eye is. And that's what they are, the rigger with the really severely turned eye that quite savage but would help with the hooking. Loads of deals on a terminal tackle. Here's the Sonic stall. I got my buzzers, so the big one that showed last year. I got some Sonic buzzers with uh, the light and receive already but Today, with the VIP ticket, we get a free Sonic rod, so I need to go and have a chat with these people. Hey, if you're into your cooking on the bank, some serious cookware. Sonic stuff, new tackle boxes. So I've got a free rod by just buying a VIP ticket. I've got a Sonic extractor, nine foot three pound test curve. I'll have to get that out when I'm at home and probably buy a second one to have another set of rods. Yeah. So it looks like these Sonic new tackle boxes ain't going to be out till 2024, so we're not far away. So this is display stock only, so you can't actually buy them, but um, they do look pretty smart. The Delkim store. So this is a total fishing tackle stall. Massive selection of buzzers. Four different sets. Got some really good deals actually and I'm really, really tempted to get a new set of buzzers even though I don't need them. So this rod we got for free, they're selling them there for 40 quid. So that is not bad at all is it for a free gift. Yeah, even though they're all really good scales, you need another bag to carry them in, they're enormous. I quite like my little digital scales really. Good deal on a ProLogic volley system. Smart. And they've got the Bivy version as well. I don't know where Dan's gone, he keeps vanishing, he's so excited. <laughs> Salve UK, some proper bait boats. Serious. I oh, know. I'd want that to fly as well. <laughs> You're right. 
think these are the smallest bite alarms I've ever seen. No, they're separate. You can buy them. Yeah, yeah, separate. Yeah. Yeah. Miniature little yeah, things. Yeah, so, um, you know, you can buy them. Yeah. So, I mean, it only came out of the box to, to put for the show yesterday morning, so it's not... I've never looked at the ProLogic stuff, but they've got some really nice looking bivvies and buzzers, rod pods, really sturdy. This one. Another setup. <laughs> Big reductions on this one. 200 quid down to 119. JRC two man bivvy. So you can get some really good deals coming to these shows. All right, mate. This is a full tiss jacket. Dan was just telling me this is the one he bought. Not cheap, but if it's gonna, that's it. If it's gonna last you forever, and you look after it. Then you can piss yourself in it. <laughs> it's quite quiet at the moment, which is nice. The big one, the big cut show or the big fishing show, it gets so busy and manic, it gets a bit uncomfortable. But we did get here around nine o'clock just as the doors opened, so um, imagine it's going to get busier than this. You all right? Yeah, good. Just gonna because I've got my glasses on, I'm the test pilot to um, wear these over the top. Ooh, hang on. Not bad, do it to... Uh... Yeah, you need to juggle them about a bit. Once you yeah. them in the right position, they're That's designed cool. to be super comfy. Okay, so your brown's more of an all-rounder, it's a bit darker. <laughs> and then the amber's if you're specifically fish spotting or you really want to get as much light in through as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Ten quid for a burger and chips. Here's my one. Onions could have been cooked a bit more, but um, fishing wise, in here I've got a load of um, different syrups. I've got salty squid, some bait sprays as well, and some Fortis Polaroids, 40 quid. They go over the top of my prescription glasses, so you'll see them in a future video. Dan's got a pair of glasses as well. I've got a rocky road. I'm happy. So you get a free case with your Fortis Polaroids. Dan's got the wraparound ones. Free lanyard. Look at this thing. Union Jack boat. Only three grand. I managed to bag the one we were all after, which was two, so uh, 54 pounds. And I say that went on to become the British record carp. Um, but it was one of those lakes, once you've caught what you're after, once you've caught this particular fish, then it's all over. Um, then you move on to wherever, um, which meant I'd leave behind all these sort of new friends I've made there. There was a gang of lads on there that were regular, that were on there every week, and F was one of them. That's printing the top, I'm printing out a picture of a fish and fat boy, pretty cool. So that was the carp show. Was that? An, it's a new show in it, you think, Dan? Yeah, I think it's the first time I've done it. I think. So it might be the first time. The, so it wasn't. It wasn't busy. It weren't manic. I don't think it's that well known of yet. So um, maybe next year it'll be busier. But it was nice to walk around without being too crowded <laughs> like you're doing the big one the big one fishing show when, stalls missing though, yeah. yeah the only thing was they're supposed to be thinking angling stall couldn't find that it's supposed to be stall doing Nash stuff better put my seatbelt on and fox gear that wasn't there either so and solar and solar so there was a few stalls missing um <clears throat> We saw Frank Warwick sitting, listening to, um, what's his name? Dave Lane. Dave Lane yeah. Frank Warwick was sitting in the in the audience, listening to Dave Lane with us, so that was good to see. But um, yeah, I reckon it can only grow and get bigger 
next year so we're keeping an eye on this uh, show um, yeah and we got a free rod each so